these trains carrying Bakken crude oil from North Dakota are called bomb trains by some railroad employees. They've caused a number of disasters all across North America. Imagine if something like this happened here in the Hudson Valley. So we got a tip from some fishermen that there was some apparent degradation on some railroad bridges up near Storm King where the crude oil trains run. So at the end of July, I went up and uh, we have, you know, a little skiff, anchored the Fletcher, launched the skiff and went in to take photos of, of the foundations, essentially, of these two bridges. The northern one, I think, was worse. It had some big cracks in the foundation that ran vertically, um, indicating that, that part of that foundation supporting the steel beams of the bridge has settled. But on the south side at the northern bridge, what looked like failing concrete, when I went over and grabbed it, was actually um, like a, a foam. So it's not even possible to see how deep the, you know, cavity is where concrete was and where foam has been um, installed to sort of, I guess, I can't imagine that there's a purpose to the foam other than a cosmetic repair. The concrete footings that support the um, steel beams um, is failing to some degree, um, you know, significant areas have, have fallen away. The steel pieces that are meant to be like, re, like rebar that are normally encased in the concrete are, um, are exposed and you can see that in a, in a couple of these photos. The bolts that hold the steel to the concrete footings uh, some of the nuts were missing, some of the nuts were loose, many of the nuts were loose. I would say that over half the fasteners holding this steel assembly together and holding the steel to the slab have loose nuts or missing nuts. Here's a picture of a, another bridge up in Kingston on Rondau Creek. And, um, on the day I took these photos, the tide was extremely low, and I was able to see the bottoms of those concrete footings that um, I normally don't see because they're covered by water, even at low tide. And you can see that they are very eroded, very deteriorated. How much of their structural integrity has been lost? How compromised are they? It's important to know as reported in the Rochester Democrat and Chronicle in August 2014, that the only routine rail bridge inspections are done by the rail owner, not by the state. And in 2014, for example, CSX reported back to New York State on all of its bridges in the state with a simple one sentence statement. Essentially, no problem, don't worry. It's uh, unsettling, it's not clear just how bad this is. Um, and it makes you think, you know, the governor ordered earlier in, in the year, in, in early in 2014, ordered two or three what they call blitzes, inspection blitzes. And all kinds of non-critical um, problems were found, you know, dozens. But also some defects were found that were serious enough that uh, the rail cars couldn't move until those problems were fixed. Brake problems, rail problems, etc. Based on the number of defects that were found in these very small blitzes, and based on the controller's criticism of the Department of Transportation for not adequately riding herd on uh, bridge inspections generally, um, it, it makes the condition we're seeing in Kingston and near Storm King um, very disconcerting. Um, it, we're not 
confident based on the controller's report. And we're not confident based on the number of problems found in the blitzes that there aren't many, many, many problems that have not been found, not been reported. And um, there's a sense that we're playing Russian roulette. The other issue that struck me was the total vulnerability of these trains. What you'll see in a number of these photographs is graffiti on the trains, on the tank cars, on the tank cars holding this explosive Bakken crude oil. And some of the graffiti is obviously took some time to do. The artist had time. And I spent about three hours under these bridges in broad daylight. You know, nobody asked me what I was doing. Nobody reported, you know, a, a man in a boat under critical bridges. No authority came to check. So what it means is that the rail yards where the cars are parked are unsecured and that allows people to do graffiti. Let's remember, they're not doing the graffiti when the train is rolling. So they have to have time where the trains are parked to go and do their work. So we are, we are, really, uh, we are really vulnerable here. We're vulnerable because of, of potentially decaying infrastructure, which we're seeing here. And we're also uh, uh, vulnerable because these trains are uh, unsecured and uh, it's clear as a bell that anybody can approach them and spend any amount of time they want um, around the rails, around the bridges, and around the cars. Join Riverkeeper in asking Governor Cuomo and your elected officials for a moratorium on crude oil transport in New York State. Until rail cars, which are known to be inadequate, are replaced, until every mile of track and every bridge is independently determined to be safe, and until rail yards are truly secure, until then, this extraordinarily dangerous product should not be transported by rail in New York State.